All right, we got some technique about to start here. What's going on, man? What are you doing here at the C3? I'm just coming in here supporting the cause. Cliff is a great friend of mine, and he's been, uh, you know, a big influence in me and in my wrestling career and my ventures and in my everyday life. So I, why not come and support this uh, pretty cool uh, scenario that's going on here? You said you got some Nike stuff going on. What's going on? Yeah, so I recently left ASICS. So I was a global product line manager for ASICS, and one of the cool things that I got to do with, within ASICS was develop the wrestling global wrestling shoe line. And now I moved over to Nike, and um, you know I can't really touch base on what exactly I'm gonna be doing because it's all confidential. But you guys will see some stuff coming out pretty soon. Jordan Burroughs said a lot of good things about you. He said that he was really he worked a lot with you interactively yeah. on the shoe that he yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now that you're gone, that's a, probably gonna be a little different for him. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. I know that when I uh, talked to Jordan about my departure, that was one of the conversations we had. I'm very confident that uh, ASICS in general will make sure that he's well taken care of. Um, there's a, some people behind the scenes that will make that happen. I, I know Jordan and I have a, have a really tight connection because I wrestled, he wrestled, and having somebody with um, that background work on his shoe um, really kind of brought it into fruition on what he wanted kind of his shoe to define, right? Jordan Burroughs and his design and colors. So I don't know how much influence he's going to have moving forward, but like I said, I think, um, you know, A6 will definitely make sure that he's well taken care of. But under you, a wrestler, he had a ton. And that's when yeah. we talk about wrestlers, wrestlers like dealing with wrestlers. Yes. No matter what, we like dealing with one, with one another. Yeah. I see an ear that's cauliflower broken. That's I know that that's a person who yeah. I can yeah. I can deal with and, and, and yeah. I've got a, a brotherhood with, you know, right. Right. kinship. You know, looking at that, I mean, he couldn't say enough good things. Now the creative, you know, it's going to be a little different, but how can you take what you did at ASICS over to Nike and, and get them to the next level? Well, it's just influence. I mean, you know, uh, I learned a lot from ASICS and, and a lot of people within the ASICS uh, organization, so I'm going to utilize that skill set to move and help, and help, you know, move the needle for Nike. I know they made a huge uh, commitment with USA Wrestling, and I think that's cool. I think it's, it's better for the sport of wrestling when you have multiple companies, you know, proactively uh, investing because now it makes everybody step up their game and um, you're right I mean the influence that jo we had with each other within Jordan and myself and not even Jordan and Adeline Gray as well and Gable and Rulon it just speaks volumes that you know when you when you have the same lingo and the same terminology and the same atmosphere as the sport of wrestling it just it's, it's more comfortable to deal with somebody like that you know I look at Nike on two three years ago was on life support with wrestling they were they were gonna cut the wrestling line if you remember, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, they remember. were done. They were yeah. done with wrestling, and then they just got it. It's a shot in the arm. Knowing that they got that shot in the arm, they got this deal with USA Wrestling. What's that mean for you? Building momentum as a wrestler, as a you know a wrestling guy, going into Nike. What's that mean to you? I, I mean, it means a lot, right? First of all, it means job security and me providing for my family. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, I think when you have more companies. Um, really competing it's better for the sport it's better for the athlete and it just it grows the sport in general because now instead of having one brand really being that only one brand that supported the sport now you have multiple brands and I feel like everybody it makes everybody step up their game and ultimately the consumer will will be um, you know the, ben, the largest beneficiary of that they haven't done a signature shoe in a while Nike has not done with an athlete right okay the last one I want to say collect Colat, yep. Was yep. the last, was the is last that time. something where, you know, you can't really speak to what you're doing, but is that something that you would want to, could we get, could we see guys with a shoe, I, I, signature shoe line? Is that I, something you'd be interested in? I mean, I would encourage it. I think it's important to know that, you know, the, the um, investment that they've done with USA Wrestling is huge, right? And I think an investment on a, on a signature athlete is even, new, it's even bigger because now these kids, you know, we have a bunch of kids here that are looking to go to the next level and they look up to the Jordan Burroughs. They look up to Adeline Gray, the female perspective wise. I think it's important that they do that because it just, it's going to speak volume and, and it's going to really show that individual consumer, hey, we're making a, a hero style of shoe, you know what I mean? Who that athlete is, I don't know. You know what I mean? It could be a James Green now that he signed with Nike and he, you know, he potentially could Daringer. be a world champion. Daringer, 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 Nike guy, yeah. You know, um, a, a Cox now is yeah. a Nike guy, so. I'll tell you what, Jaden Cox, I don't know if I could have a better guy. That guy right that there. That guy's awesome. We just really got to like get him. a towel to get that sweat off of yeah. him. <laughs> that guy. But he's, a, he's, he's phenomenal. He's a great face, I would say. I, a great I think face. next to Jordan Burroughs, he's probably the next guy that I would say kids are going to look up to because he's just, he has a great story. He's well-spoken. He's charismatic. 
charismatic. He's a great dude. Um, and I mean, he's come from from nothing, you know, and and, and uh, went over a lot of obstacles to be where he's at. And I feel like a lot of, especially in this world, a lot of kids can really, you know, uh, align with what Cox has done. And what Jaden's got on his side is he's out of college, whereas Kyle Snyder's got to wait another year. Right. You know, that's what Jaden's got going for him. He's got yeah. time is on his yeah. side at least another year. But I tell you, man, Kyle Snyder is going to be the best thing to come out. And in terms of signature shoes, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be surprised if, if, if the, as soon as his collegiate uh, career is over, if he doesn't have a signature shoe by the end of the, of the month, it's going to be surprising to me. I'd be a travesty to me, man. That guy, for sure. he's a solid great, people too, right? He's a great individual. Great individual. Yeah. For sure. Working with wrestlers, when they see you and they know that you're in the, the credibility you've built with your, your relationships that you hit, and you know, from eight and some of those aren't transferable obviously the Jordan relationship is but business wise you can't bring him over what do you think guys think of and girls think of who are in wrestling when they get to deal with you what do you think that does to, to the wrestler well I, I feel that the relationship that I built uh, in my previous world with the, those athletes you just mentioned it just gives me a, a lot of like it opens the door because you know some people are very kind of uh, cautious of opening up and, and letting themselves uh, loose in front of other people that they don't know but the fact that I have that relationship with Jordan and Adeline and Gable and Rulon and Kale, um, it just it just shows the, the new athlete. Hey, this guy knows how to work with these athletes. He knows the lingo. He's 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 worked with all these other wrestlers, and you know. And I just I want to build great relationships with those guys. As I am a individual that uh, I'm a fanatic about the sport, I'm also a fan of these athletes. You know what I mean? So I, I, I really appreciate that, that I get to do that on an everyday basis, and I don't take that for granted. You guys going and getting Terry, bringing Terry Brands over. That was huge. Is, I mean, straight up, to break down the barrier right there, you guys brought over a lifetime ASICS guy. How you bring guys over like that, Will you, do you think you guys going to continue to try and change people over? Yeah, that was that was Grant and that was uh, Eddie uh, from APS. And I think, you know, those guys it, at that time even opened my eyes because I was with a competitive brand, you know, that they were trying to beat. I think they're doing, I, I think it's positive. I think it's showing, again, hey, we're not afraid to invest and we're willing to make that investment and get an individual that's been with ASICs for such a long time and moving them over. Right now, I think it's key because you get these influencers to move over. Everybody else is going to follow, and it's and it just speaks volume of Eddie and Grant that they can they have that power, they have that uh, that, that mentality that they can go in there and, and, and take athletes like that away from Aces. Do you work here or do you work in Beaverton? No, I work out here in Torrance. So do you have to go up to Beaverton? Yeah, I'll be out there in two weeks. For a week. So you guys are out there. I mean, you got Oregon State right there. It's the only Division One college wrestling program. You know, it's, there's not a lot of Division One college wrestling program. How can you guys help promote college wrestling here in the West Coast? Well, I, and I think that's that again. It speaks to the the, uh, the commitment with the USA Wrestling, right? Because now they know that uh, Nike has invested in the USA Wrestling contract. That's going to tr should trickle down to the collegiate style of wrestling and ultimately help bring more more um, colleges and universities to to the sport of wrestling. All right, we got Munoz doing some technique. Yeah. We got all types of stuff going on here. Do you got anything else for me? No, I, I appreciate this, man. You know, um, I have four kids. My wife was a women's All-American. My four kids are wrestling, and you know, my youngest daughter is going to be uh, wrestling in uh, AU Women's Nationals. And I think bringing them to this environment and having them surrounded by individuals like Cliff and yourself and Mark and even, you know, my we we were fortunate enough to have dinner with the Burroughses, uh, and my my daughter still to this day talks about that. I just just want them to understand that what I do is for them as well, and uh, you know, and, and if it wasn't for the sport of wrestling, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Today.